shares ahead of you. Down for you, the top five are Sato, Sargent, Hughes, Novalak, and Hauger. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 148.1. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. Just ahead are Vesti and Williams. And just behind us are Lawson, Sato and Sargent. Currently the fastest lap is a 1 minute 28.0. We don't have the data for that I'm afraid. Session at the moment are Vesti and Williams. And just behind us are Lawson, Sato and Sargent. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 128.0. We don't currently have the data for that request. lap of fuel left now, the tank's pretty much empty. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Okay, their best lap time so far is a 1 minute 49.4. condition still looking good. Less than one lap of fuel left now, the tank's pretty much empty.
Okay guys, everyone be aware, the car's ready to go. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Here are the top five cars as things stand. Daruvula, Armstrong, Doohan, Fittipaldi and Beauchamp. Okay, so as for the cars around us, just ahead are Williams, Calderon and Porsche. And we're in front of Nisani, Lawson and Sato. Currently the fastest lap is at 127.7. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Lawson, Daruvula and Marcus Armstrong. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. Welcome to all those joining us as we kick off another round of thrilling Formula 2 racing at Imola. It's 3.1 miles around Imola with 19 turns to master, 9 right-handers and 10 left. And note as well that Imola is one of the few tracks that's driven anti-clockwise. Keep an eye on the exit from turn 18. A good exit there leading into the circuit's only DRS zone will probably be the setup for some of today's best overtaking opportunities. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments, there is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going.
Nice move, keep going. Williams behind. Okay, they're on fresh, super soft tyres. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 46.5. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. That's P1. Williams is behind you. And the gap behind us is 11.1 seconds. OK, they're on fresh, super soft tyres. OK, mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Fantastic drive, that's just fantastic, amazing, you deserve that race win, well done mate. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be MP Motorsport picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. James increases their championship lead. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I have to give it to James. And here's how things are shaping up in the Teams' Championship. MP Motorsport move further clear at the top. Meanwhile, good work from Campos this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. 
After all this drama, you would be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Welcome back to Imola as we get ready for another glorious day of Formula 2 action. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Liam Lawson lines up on pole position, with Jay and Deruvela alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Armstrong, Duan, Enzo Fittipaldi, and Boshong. Cordial. Williams, Novelak, Yuri Vips, Vesti, Sargent, Dennis Hauger, Jake Hughes, Caldwell, Vashaw, Calderon, and Teo Porcher, James, Nisani, Sato, and Ayumu Owasa completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. Okay, the gap behind is 4.8 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh super soft tyres. Your last lap time was a 146.1.
OK, we've been given a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Get your head down and let's get it done. on this compound. issues with tyre wear for now, keep taking care of them. behind you. OK, so the gap to the car behind is 17.4 seconds. OK, they're on fresh, super soft tyres. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 24.5 seconds. One lap of fuel remaining.
fantastic drive. That's just fantastic. Amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate. It wasn't always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the MP Motorsport team, and I'm very happy to see them up there on the top step of the podium. James increases their championship lead. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I have to give it to James. On to the teams then. MP Motorsport move further clear at the top. Meanwhile, Carlin move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. That's the end of today's race. Thank you for joining us, and I'm sure you'll agree it was a great race and sets us up nicely for the next instalment in a few weeks' time. Take care. From Davide and I, it's goodbye.